Hi, I'm Dan Resnicek from Pacific Northwest Urology Specialists, and today I'm going to be talking about testosterone. Specifically, how do you naturally increase your testosterone levels on your own? I get asked from a lot of men about this question here in Bellingham. What is low testosterone? Testosterone is the primary male sexual hormone and a key anabolic steroid. It helps promote secondary sexual characteristics such as increased muscle and bone mass and the growth of body hair. It is also important in mood and energy levels. Men with low testosterone often have low libido, erectile dysfunction, osteoporosis, sleeping problems, depressed mood, and decreased physical performance. How do you increase your T naturally? First, it's important to make sure that your low T is not due to a medical disorder. Some causes of low testosterone are due to a medical disease and can be evaluated and treated by a physician. If your low testosterone is due to one of these medical problems, you will not be able to naturally increase your T levels to normal until the problem is treated. What are some medical causes of low testosterone? Testosterone is controlled by the combination of the pituitary gland, the hypothalamus, and the testicles. And any problem in any of these glands may lead to a low T level. Chronic illness, radiation treatment, chemotherapy, and medications can all lower your testosterone levels as well. What to do next? After you've been evaluated and you are otherwise healthy, how do you naturally increase your T? Let's look at some ways that have been scientifically tested and show how you can do this. High intensity interval training. Many studies have evaluated the natural increase of testosterone that happens with exercise. Recently, studies have shown that comparing low intensity training to higher intensity interval training, high intensity training improves testosterone levels significantly more. This training uses resistance and weightlifting. In one study, the increase was 8% higher in T levels after high intensity interval training versus only a 5% increase with low intensity training. High intensity training has also been shown to improve T levels in all age groups. Another recent paper showed that total testosterone levels increased by 17% in sedentary 60 to 70 year old men. Lose the pounds. Fat cells in the body convert testosterone to estrogen, which not only removes the male sex hormone, but increases the female predominant hormone. Higher levels of body fat are strongly correlated to lower levels of testosterone. In a recent meta-analysis, diet-associated weight loss of 9.8% of their body weight increased total testosterone levels by 84 nanograms per deciliter. And surgical weight loss, such as bariatric surgery, increased total testosterone levels by 251 nanograms on average. That's a huge gain. Get better sleep. We are all told to get better sleep, but it's hard to do in our modern society. Here's a great reason to try. Sleep fragmentation and lack of sleep lead to predictably lower testosterone levels. In older men, morning testosterone levels are partly predicted by total sleep time. Healthier eating. Expanding on weight loss, obese and overweight men who lose weight through low-fat, low-calorie diets seem to have improvements in their erectile dysfunction and testosterone levels. In addition, the Western diet itself is associated with lower semen quality parameters. Switching to a more Mediterranean, low-fat diet may be beneficial to all three. Beware of herbal supplements. Many companies will try and sell you pills or powders to boost your testosterone. Herbal companies will do the same. Oral supplements such as androstenedione, dione, DHEA, and other pro-hormones sell increased T levels. Most have no effect on testosterone at all and only increase your estrogen level. Androstenedione dione has a short and modest impact on testosterone and definitely increases your estrogen levels. And after only a short period of time, that boost in testosterone goes away. Most herbal supplements tout levels of testosterone increase, but none have ever been shown to be a good effect in humans. Stop the opioids. Narcotic medications suppress the luteinizing hormone, which decreases your body's ability to naturally produce testosterone. 
Narcotic use is rampant in our society, and testosterone deficiency is high amongst those who use these pain relievers. Up to 90% of men with chronic pain medication use have low testosterone levels. This is true regardless if it's pills, injections, or patches. Narcotic use will decrease your T. Think of it as another great reason to stop taking these medications if you can. Are you ready to take action? See a provider to make sure there's nothing serious going on. Then, try naturally increasing your testosterone the ways we just talked about. High intensity interval training, weight loss, healthy eating, stopping opioid medications, and better sleep have all been shown to improve testosterone levels. Try to avoid herbal therapies and pro-hormones because they've never been shown to improve your testosterone significantly and often increase your estrogen levels. Thanks for watching our program. Please like us or subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you.